what's up it's PJ here today and um, I'm starting a new series in which I will create a 2d platformer and you guys will follow along and make your own um, so yeah that's basically it I have already kind of created it so I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like in the end so here it is um, it seems to be pretty laggy on my screen but I don't know if it'll show up better Usually it's better than this, but it's because I'm recording. Um, so yeah, it's just a basic platformer with bricks and stuff. Um, pretty simple stuff. I added some moving blocks recently. Um, so yeah, well, let's just get started then. So the first thing we want to do is let's create a new class, and actually we'll make a new package. Um, whatever you want to name it alrighty um, now we'll just create we'll just call this um, this class game so this will be our main class where we start everything so in here let's do public static void main string args now the what we want to do in this class is create our main Jane frame for um, us to draw on and put other things onto. So we'll call it we'll do J frame frame equals new J frame. Um, and we can just call this platformer. And in here we'll do frame.set default fall close operation to J frame dot exit on close so what this will do is it's saying okay when we when we press the close button like up here it'll terminate the program and not keep it running which is very important uh, the next thing we want to do is frame dot set resizable false um, frame dot set layout new border layout um, frame dot add new game panel um, and we're gonna put in here border layout dot center so we add the add that to the center of the screen um, frame dot pack this will resize the the frame to the panel size um, frame dot set location relative to null frame dot set visible true so we just made the frame visible and put its location to the middle of the screen. So that's basically it um, for this class. But we need to make another class and we'll call this um, game panel. Basically this is going to be a class that extends J panel and um, it'll be what we draw onto. So um, if we just create the constructor here actually let's um, do this private static final long serial version UID equals one long that's just a convention that you need to follow but don't doesn't really matter um, so in here we have to set the preferred size so let's create some dimensions public static final int width equals just do with it 800 public static final int height equals 600 so what we're going to do in here is we're going to do set preferred size new dimension with height so basically when when we use this frame dot pack here it's going to get um, the sizes or the preferred sizes of every single object that's inside the frame and set it to that size so in here we have added a new game panel so it's going to set the frame size to width and height so it can store the J panel so if we run this right now um, as a Java application we should just get a window in here and actually I like to make this a different size let's go like 450 by 900 let's see how that looks um, let's give it a little bit more height. Let's go 550. 
Why not? That looks about right. Um, so now we've created our RJ panel. Um, I think that's where we should end this tutorial. So we've created our frame and added our J panel. In the next video, we will start working on the game loop and maybe even get a little bit of graphics on the screen. Probably not, but maybe. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.